First Italy, now Spain. Buenas tardes. Uh, Good evening, esteemed citizens. Today, I have informed the head of state that tomorrow we will hold an extraordinary cabinet meeting to declare a state of emergency throughout the whole of Spain for the next 15 days. The state of emergency is a legal tool recognized in our constitution to confront a crisis as extraordinary as that which now faces the entire world in our own country. Bulgaria too has declared an emergency after confirming just 23 cases, but it and others know the trend by now. Denmark's one of a number of countries that's seen a massive rise in cases this week. It's now advising citizens against all but essential travel. Ukraine, Czech Republic and Slovakia are amongst the European countries introducing severe restrictions on entry for foreigners, seemingly to try and prevent the same happening to them. On Friday, the World Health Organization said shutting borders won't work on its own. It's launched a fund that anyone can donate to to help fight the virus. You must take a comprehensive approach. Not testing alone, not contact tracing alone, not quarantine alone, not social distancing alone. Do it all. Any country that looks at the experience of other countries with large epidemics and thinks that won't happen to us is making a deadly mistake. It can happen to any country. With well over 2,000 cases in Germany, large gatherings have already ceased, but Berlin's famous Philharmonie is still performing, streaming for audiences online. This continent is now the epicentre of a pandemic unseen in modern times. Governments are responding rapidly, their citizens adapting to a new norm. Guy Henderson, CGTN, Geneva.